Oh, exactly. And and speaking of super you know, during the shoot around this morning, she did have the face mask on. She right. took it off for the interview. She would injured in the last game tonight. She's going to be wearing that mask. But here's the deal. This is her fifth time breaking it, and she seemed to really make light of it. In fact, on her Instagram post, let's uh, take a look at that because we have a screenshot of it. She oh, actually oh, yeah. she actually uh, showed a screenshot of her iPhone 10 and how it didn't recognize her face. Oh, Even no. In person, she looked normal and looked the same to me. But I guess the iPhone 10 is so sensitive. Right. It recognized there was a difference in her face. And yeah. so she's like, and so it goes. That's it. So the nose is different, but she seems totally in the game, ready to go. She's ready to bobble that head and take us to victory. Again, this is going to be a really big deal. I mean, they've been here before. They know the feeling that they're in. Uh, two and two. Uh, we've had two championships so far, so we need to get that third. Exactly. So let's go to this uh, this interview with Sue. Just a quick sound okay. bite of not just about the nose, but about the game. Okay. Here she is. This has been a tough series, I think, for, for both teams. And it's the WNBA, it's the semifinals, and that's what you have to expect. So I think we just want to learn from the, the first four games, um, see where we did good things, see where we did bad things, um, and then just put it all on the line. You know, that's what it's going to be about, I think, throughout all the playoffs. It's not necessarily an X's and O's thing. It's just the, you know, the team that wants it more. And, and game five is going to bring that, bring that out in both teams. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, know, you we're, Sue. We're big fans of Sue Bird. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's been amazing. on take five a few times and just has a great attitude and great yeah. spirit. There was someone else this morning. Struck your eye. eye. Who was it? Well, I have to admit, you know why? Because I'm about five, five and a half. And there was another player out there, my height. And, <laughs> and I was you're like, like, oh, oh my you're God, like look me. at her. Look at her go. Yeah. She's amazing. Jordan Canada. If you haven't heard about her, you will. So here's what you should know about her. She's from LA. She's supposed to be Sue Bird's heir apparent. Okay. Okay. She is the first women's player in the Pac 12 history to log 1,800 points and 700 assists. And she was a first round draft pick. So this is right. her first year. She's just out of college. I did a quick interview with her. Check it out. You're going to love her. Jordan Canada. She's got a cool name. You're just out of college. How exciting is this for you? It's so exciting. I mean, it's still surreal to me. It's unbelievable to be in this position as a rookie. And I'm just trying to take everything in, learn as I go, and just be there for my teammates. What is some of the best of advice that you have absorbed during this process thus far? Just be myself. I think I can't, I mean, I've gotten that uh, throughout my rookie year. And during times like these, it's just stick to your strengths, do what got you here, um, and just have fun. That's a good one. So what are you going to do to get yourself in the right, like in a frame of mind tonight? Or is it already there? It, it's already there. I mean, I understand how important this, this game is. You know, it's one or go home. So it's just, you know, trying to stay locked in, focus on the game plan, and, you know, just go out there and be there for my teammates. I was watching your shoot around. You look fantastic. And I noticed he was using some word like rain, or was it something about making it rain? Or was, I don't <laughs> Is it basically saying just get in my zone and when I'm in that zone you know no one can bother me nothing can you know bother me whether it's missed shots or if I'm you know nobody nobody can stop me basically so just trying to get into that zone. What are you thinking of the Seattle fans so far? Man the Seattle fans have been great I mean I've heard a lot of things about you know storm crazies and just being able to witness it it's just awesome and you know they've been so supportive of us this year and I know in the past and so I know they're going to help us a lot tonight. Yeah we're well, so excited to have you. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. I love Seattle. The organization has been great. The fans have been great. It's just an awesome atmosphere, and I'm happy to be in this environment. So there you have it, just 23 years old and already in her first potential, you know, WNBA Finals game. We just got to get through the semifinals. So you're final you're going to be her next biggest fan here locally in Seattle, I see. Already. You know, already. same height, got it going. <laughs> well, you know